is Base One Nightly News. With your latest news that you need to know from David and Kevin. What are you seeing out there, Kevin? Well there, David. We've seen a gas leak in the Larson building at Penn State Barracks, filling the rooms with acetylcholine. People with recent exposure of this acetylcholine molecule has reported frequent postsynaptic potentials running through their bodies. Recent feedback from Dr. Shibley was reported an hour ago. My body is racing. I feel good! OMG! There is also chemical exposure at PSU wide going around messing with people's postganglionic neurotransmitters. Everybody's sphincters are contracting and their glands are secreting. One recent statement from a student named Gus Bus has been has us concerned a little bit. He said, My sphincter, my sphincter. Oh my sphincter is contracting. Wow, that's pretty crazy there, Kevin. There, there's also been a sighting of an individual, they have mind-altering effects. They were seen most recently on Stimuli Street. The question investigators are trying to figure out is, is this due to hallucinogens or is it due to stimulants? Not really sure yet, but the one thing they do know is that it is altering the chemical synapses. Doctors have been using LSD to help unlock the unconscious of, of such individuals with altering effects. A lot of potential there, wouldn't you say, Kevin? I would say so myself, David. Now here's a recent story from Mason, Jackie, Jackie, I don't know who's next. Thanks Kevin, we are currently receiving reports that the locus coeruleus and the serotonic RAF nuclei are currently at odds with the dopaminergic substantia nigra and the cholangeric basal forebrain. Apparently, the locus coeruleus and the RAF nuclei are just trying to do their jobs most efficiently by controlling sleep-wake cycles, mood swings, and pain. However, sudden deaths of the substantia niagara and the basal forebrain cells are causing more of those cells to go on strike until this problem is found and resolved. This is leading to an onset of Parkinson's disease as well as Alzheimer's disease. Fortunately, we have medical and scientific professionals on the scene now trying to find possible solutions to this problem. Wow, what a crisis that was from Jackie we have there. Now, with a human interest story, we all need to hear. There you go, Mason. In a heartwarming story coming out of San Antonio, Texas, a man created an extravagant sandwich to combat his hunger. Unfortunately, the man bit off a little more than he could chew when he wanted to take the sandwich to his in-laws to show them that he had value. <laughs> Otto Mia was set to enjoy a sandwich he had dreamt of his entire life. All right, so I made the sandwich, you know, and uh, so, but I realized that I had lost that sandwich, and uh, so I realized that my blood pressure was uh, spiking, and uh, I didn't, didn't really, wasn't feeling any hunger anymore, I didn't even know if I wanted the sandwich anymore, you know? Uh, my anxiety was increased, yada yada, bing boom bap, and uh, so that, that was all the sympathetic version of my brain, you know, kicking in, and then I found out my kid just put it under the car seat, and uh, then I was all relaxed, you know, parasympathetic side of my brain really uh, took control, and uh, you know, it was good, and then the sandwich was, was good, it was a little cold, but yeah, yeah. I don't know about you, David, but I sure am hungry right now. <laughs> yeah, and for those of our viewers who want to go out and grab a, a bite to eat for lunch, Dan has the weather report for you next. Hold on a second, guys, before you make that decision. Uh, weather master auto nerve cyst took over Body City today with a snow precipitation. Due to extreme temperatures and snowfall, meteorologist Hypo Hamus has <laughs> issued a shiver warning and are advised to put on warm layers. Warn your interconnected peoples and stay warm. This snowstorm will last for the next few weeks. This snow storm, this storm will affect uh, magnocellular, parvocellular, and down south through periventricular peri counties. So don't expect any male campsagers to deliver anything for the next few days. Stay tuned. Well, that, that has it for tonight, folks. But till next time, stay tuned. Twitter.com slash Base One. Let's go grab a sandwich now. We are Base One Action News! <laughs> <laughs>